Each year, a large number of men and women whose identities remain unknown are discovered dead. They are referred to as either John Doe or Jane Doe until their true identities can be determined. However, occasionally, this simply never happens and their true identities remain a mystery forever. In today's video, we will investigate five such cases involving unidentifiable individuals. Hello and welcome to our channel, The Mystery and Muse. We bring you the mysteries that need solving every day. Before we move on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. Now, let's start with the video. Number 4. Little Miss Panasofki On February 19, 1971, the decaying body of a young woman was found beneath a bridge at Lake Panasofki in Sumter County, Florida. She was strangled to death with a man's belt that was still tied around her neck. She was believed to have been in her early 20s. Since she had no identification and no one ever came forth to claim her remains, she was dubbed Little Miss Panasofki and buried in the region. Her body was exhumed years later in an attempt to identify her. On her ankle, a type of surgery known as the Watson-Jones procedure had been conducted, which was one of the most peculiar findings they discovered. She had considerable dental work, and a recent analysis of the lead isotopes in her teeth suggests she may have lived in Labrium, a Greek fishing port near Athens. Additionally, it is thought that she once gave birth to a child. Despite these very obvious hints, her true identity remains unknown. Number 3. Caledonia Jane Doe On November 9, 1979, a motorist passing through a cornfield near Caledonia, New York, found the body of a young woman. She looked to be between 13 and 19 years old. Two gunshots to the head killed her. The police think that a 38 caliber handgun was used to kill the girl. She was probably killed the night before, but possible forensic evidence had been washed away by heavy rains. Her pockets were turned inside out, which suggests that the killer might have taken her ID. A waitress said she saw the woman the night before at a diner in Lima, New York, and many truckers said they saw her hitchhiking and trying to get rides. In 2006, three tiny pollen grains found in her clothes were looked at and found to have only come from Florida, Arizona, or Southern California. This showed that the girl had traveled a long way before she died. But even though police have followed up on over 10,000 leads, she has still not been identified. She is still buried in Dansville, New York, under the name Jane Doe. Number 2. Princess Blue On September 10, 1990, a motorist in Brazoria County, Texas, pulled off the highway to use a trash dump to relieve himself. He was shocked to find a skull inside an old tire. Then. The bones of a woman who was probably between 15 and 25 years old were found in a pile of trash. No one knows what killed her, but it is thought that she died between 1 and 5 years before being found. At first, people thought she was Hispanic, but more research has shown that she was probably white and had at least one parent or grandparent who was black. Even though no clothes were found, the woman had six rings and a bracelet on her fingers. The most interesting piece of jewelry was a class ring from Robert E. Lee High School in Houston from 1975. It was silver in color. Because of a blue stone in the ring, people called her Princess Blue, since the victim was too young to have graduated high school in 1975. Investigators were puzzled as to why she would have this ring. They have been trying to find out if anyone from that graduating class might have lost or given away their ring. So far, they haven't been able to figure out the mystery. Number 1. El Dorado Jane Doe A blonde woman was discovered battered and shot to death in her room at the Whitehall Motel in El Dorado, Arkansas, on July 9, 1991. Her ID card stated that her name was Cheryl Ann Wick, but authorities quickly established that she had stolen this identity from a Cheryl Ann Wick in Minneapolis, who was alive and well and did not know the victim. The blonde was killed by her boyfriend, James Roy McAlphin who was sentenced to 12 years in prison for the killing, but was unable to shed any light on her real identity. Before moving to El Dorado, the woman resided in Dallas, Houston, Shreveport, and Little Rock. She told her acquaintances that she was from Florida. She used the names Kelly Lee Kerr, Shannon Wiley, and Mercedes in addition to Cheryl Ann Wick. She had worked as a prostitute and a topless dancer. She was frequently arrested for prostitution and issuing fraudulent checks, and was probably wanted in Virginia for bank robbery. She also possessed a Bible that included the names of a family with whom she had resided for some time. 
Despite these clues, nobody has ever been able to determine her true identity. Even though these people may have had friends or family somewhere, no one ever came forward to claim their bodies. Years or decades go by, and no one ever figures out who they are. They will always be a mystery. That was it for today's video, guys. Do you know of any other mystery case involving unidentified persons? Do let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.